Hello! In my previous video I showed that I have a weird way of tracking how much I neglect my makeup products. You know when influencers say Lots of people have asked me about... Nobody asked. You just want to share something. It's fine. Well, actually, some people want to see more about my makeup bullet journal. Two people, to be honest. But for me that's enough to make my day. Am I gonna make a video about my system just because two people showed interest in it? Hell yeah, I will! This is my bullet journal. My intention was to use it as a normal bujo, like any other that you might find on YouTube or any other social media, but at some point it became a brain dump. An apparently organized and colorful brain dump. I have here from my wish list or a weight tracker to my animal crossing ideas for the design of my island and of course all the makeup I own and how many times I reach for it. Spoiler, not enough. How did this begin? One day I found on the explore option of Instagram that there were accounts focused on panning the makeup or using it up. People track the progress uploading one picture of the same product one month apart or sometimes one year apart. They also share challenges or games to encourage building a new rotation of products to make sure they use everything in their collection. I thought, this is so cool! It's a very direct way to counteract the trend of hoarding makeup just to have it displayed, untouched and photogenic. Unfortunately, that's been kinda normalized by influencers or beauty YouTubers. They receive so much free PR and they have to constantly try new products in exchange for sponsorships or just for content. So we got used to see those amounts of products in the background and even the typical IKEA furniture completely full of stuff. However, we have to remember that nobody can really use that much stuff. They have to constantly give away to friends and family or upload ridiculously wasteful declutters. And on the other hand, whatever that we have in our homes, it's paid with our money. We don't get PR. If you buy makeup or you get it as a gift, it's for you to enjoy it, because it does expire. Anyways, as always, I'm digressing. I noticed that some accounts were showing the progress written in notebooks as well, and that gave me the idea as well as an excuse to enjoy my love for stationery. I don't remember exactly the first account that I saw, but I will link in the description some that I follow or that I find often in the exploration tab. Can you relate to this? As a beginner, I started buying some makeup two or three years ago. So yes, I started very late, in my mid-twenties, when I felt interest for the first time ever, because it seemed fun. I bought things very slowly and feeling completely lost. No matter how many beauty channels were out there, it felt like all of them were for people that already knew what they were doing. Even the tutorials with beginner on the title didn't feel right to me, because I'm so pale. Not so pale. You're on it. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. I didn't even want to use foundation, because I always ended up looking like a Dorito or like a Geisha. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I ended up buying lots of stuff that I didn't like or didn't know how to use, and I can remember too many products expiring before I used them twice, or being given to friends with not even one use. Because after having them in a drawer for two weeks, I thought, well, if I didn't use it already, I better give it to someone that will, before I have to throw away this too. Shout out to my friend Laura, who received Life's a Peach from W7, a lip gloss from Weibo, a melted chrome from Essence because I'm an idiot and I bought three shades instead of just one. <laughs> I could talk for hours about all the things that I regret, but I want to go back to the main topic of the video. How did this help me? When I had to make the inventory of everything I owned, I got surprised. I thought my collection was small, as I still called myself a beginner when I did it. Well, I keep calling myself a beginner because I have no clue of what I'm doing. First, I had to declutter some stuff because I wanted to use everything up and enjoy the process not force myself to use for months something I didn't like enough. So I gave to friends what was in almost brand new condition 
I even sold some unopened products that still had the plastic and everything, so people could really tell it was safe. And I had to throw away the few things that were expired. After choosing carefully what I wanted to keep, it was a lot still. I felt overwhelmed. Back then I would use makeup maybe three times a year, two of them at home, to practice, and instantly wash it away. It was too embarrassing. I didn't want to look like those cringy pics you usually hide from when you were 14 and your eyeliner looked like this, but outside and being 26. At least now I don't care, or I simply care more about enjoying my stuff. So long story short, using a notebook to track my makeup use made me realize how much stuff I actually had. That led me to buy way less, since I wanted to focus on using up the things that were gonna expire sooner. Drawing each cross gives a satisfying feeling of progress that otherwise I wouldn't get until the product is showing the pan, I'd see a half empty or full empty bottle. I get to use my also neglected stationery much more often. Because of the point 3 and 4, I also use my makeup more often, and I even started using a skincare too. Okay, shut the fuck up and show it to us. I waited till the end to really show it because I wanted you to lower your expectations. I'm not gonna use 2020 as an excuse to have neglected my products because my intention was to use them at home, to feel good, and I didn't even do that. Putting on some clothes that were in pajamas was already a struggle. Hey, my channel's name is Sirera Struggles for a reason. So I have no excuse, but this is the progress so far. You can tell that at the beginning I really didn't have a pattern set and it looks more messy. I am not proud of it, but you gotta start somewhere. At least back then I used to print a pic of the product, but now that I'm not at my parents' place, I don't have a printer. And you will see that while it looks less cluttered, it's also slightly more boring, but it works. Actually, it works better than ever. Sometimes less is more. Or maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the aesthetic, but my mindset. Oh, don't mind this palette. I actually used it once, but I didn't even put the crosses here and there because I decided that I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine since I think she will enjoy it way more than me. This was a very weird video and I'm so thankful if you watched till here. Before I showed my face, I was uploading once a week non-stop, but now it's taking me longer to mentally prepare to record, and I'm so far uploading twice a month instead. It doesn't really matter because right now, only some of my friends watch me, aside from my mom and my sister. And you know what? You are the best. I'm not gonna be cheesy for this. You know I'm a sassy bitch and a tsundere. <laughs> But I really appreciate you supporting me. You don't need to leave a comment or a like, even though those make my day. <laughs> I actually got my previous video shared on Facebook on only once by a friend and I almost cried. <laughs> so by just staying around and offering me some minutes of your day to watch this, you're already doing more than most of the people I know. Thank you for that. Okay, bye!